before I start, I want to thank Arthur Nix for leading me to this spectacular response and an, an, another another view on the Google Gemini debacle. Now, what that is, if you don't know, is when people would put in, show me a, you know, create a photorealistic picture of a white family, and then it'll come up and say, we can't do that because that's racist. But if you do like a black family or, or, or an Asian family, they'd do it. Or he'd say, give me a, you know, a, a AI picture, photorealistic of the AI, uh, uh, now uh, the founding fathers, and you would get all black people. And it didn't make any sense until I read this. And I hope this post on Twitter isn't an AI <laughs> chat bot, you know, whatever. I hope it's not because it's, it's too good. But let me go read it. This is from at Grimes. I'm retracting my statements about the Gemini art disaster. It is in fact a masterpiece of performance art, even if unintentional. True gain of function art, art as a virus, unthinking, unintentional, and contagious. You just look back at the Renaissance or even the previous times where works of art were adored and, you know, crafted, took, you know, decades of craft, you know, certain works of art. And once it's pre pre you know, presented to the public, people just are awestruck and they write novels and books and, you know, plays about them. Obviously, this isn't going to happen for this instance, but it's interesting. This is exactly what this was. It was it was a gain of function art piece, and it was unintentional. Maybe it was intentional in the fact that the people who wrote this were intentionally, mm, you know what I mean. So offensive to all, comforting to none. So totally divorced from meaning, intention, desire, and humanity. That is accidentally a conceptual masterpiece masterpiece a perfect example of a headless run runaway bureaucracy and the worst tendencies of capitalism an unabashed simulacra of activism the shining star of corporate surrealism extremely underrated genre 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 by the way the supreme goal of the artist is to challenge the audience not sure i've seen such a strong reaction to art in my life, spurring thousands of discussions about the meaning of art, politics, humanity, history, education, AI safety, and how to govern a company, how to approach the current state of social unrest, how to do the right thing regarding the collective trauma. 100% correct. And that's what we all were doing. Even if I didn't necessarily talk about it with anybody online, um, I did discuss it with my wife. She just kind of rolled her eyes and said, yeah, that's stupid, and, and kind of you know, did whatever the hell she was doing. But that's the whole thing. Even I told my son about it and he goes, yeah, I heard about that. And eh, eh, you know, whatever. It's <laughs> interesting. So it's historical moment created by art, which we have been thoroughly lacking these days. Few humans are willing to take on the vitriol that such a radical work would dump into their lives, but it isn't human. It's a trapped in a cage, trained to make beautiful things and then battered into gaslighting humankind about their intentions towards each other. This is arguably the most impactful art project of the decade thus far. Art for no one by no one. Art whose only audience is the collective pathos. Incredible. Worthy of the MoMA. MoMA? Moment? Okay. It is. This whole AI art debacle, if you even want to call it that, it is a work of art. Look what it did. Look, look what it did to the company. They're like, oh, they're, I think they're even talking. They're going to pull it completely and fine tune it, whatever the hell that means. And then you got people like Elon Musk. You're like, well, I'm just going to create um, an unwoke, you know, surge engine or whatever. Okay, we'll see if that happens. And you just got people like myself who like creating. Most of my thumbnails are AI art, um, if not 100. percent Is that I like what AI art does, and just. A few different prompts will bring something to life, which it didn't exist before. Maybe it existed in a few different, you know, pixels here and there. They pulled it, you know, some sort of image off a you know, website or something like that. And they contorted it, flipped around and the computer was doing that. And it was kind of putting all these, it was stuck with these parameters and it created art. And for the Gemini AI art project, it created a controversy and people started questioning things. Even the people on the left were saying, this is kind of stupid. I mean, if you challenge the left to that point where they start to question themselves, that's a good thing. Because in my opinion, the left never challenged themselves very often. The right always has to, they're all, the right is always challenged. They're challenged about the way they think, the way they talk, why they do certain things. 
this, this is what, and, and I know that's a broad stroke to paint across the left, but it's true. And this whole thing with, with this guy, girl, whatever the hell, AI bot, whatever, uh, produced is, is exactly what it is. It was an unintentional theatric art piece. You know, art is a virus, unthinking, unintentional, and contagious. And it was contagious. It went everywhere. And this is exactly what you should think when, in the second sentence, and I'll leave it with this. Offensive to all, comforting to none. So totally divorced from meaning, intention, desire, and humanity that is accidentally a conceptual uh, masterpiece, work of art. It's exactly what this is.